Hey. Is there anything we can do? You know, the last night I pick up Palmer's personal belongings and... Dr. Bradley... Doesn't it seem strange to you for a first wife to be doing this? In this case, definitely not. Nina's coming from Chicago, and, and Petey, he's coming home from Switzerland. Daisy, I haven't seen your daughter for years, and I'm just so sorry that this is why she's coming home. Me too. Opal said to tell you that everyone's going to meet at Ted's later. That way we can call family and people, who, even people who can't make it. Tell them that at midnight tonight we're going to all light a candle to honor Palmer's memory. That's a lovely idea. I'm going to call my parents. I'm sure they'd love to do that. <sighs> Thank you, Jake. Everyone in town is talking about Palmer. Well, you have no idea. I just got off the phone with a bullet. New York Times called not too long ago. Been nonstop. I guess old PC made one heck of an impact. Yeah. It's not just the press, either. Everybody's talking about the candle lighting service at midnight. There she is. Oh, hey, beautiful. Dad. Come on in, honey. Sorry. It was nobody else like him. No. <laughs> Listen, Bianca sends her love, and I'm trying to reach Kendall. And uh, how's Petey? He's on his way. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm going to be here. I am here as long as you need me. I'm here. Hello? Unbelievable. Every ten minutes. It's like ringing off the hook. Are you sure? Everyone wants to know about the arrangements, and I don't know what to tell them. I mean, did Palmer even leave any instructions? He left very specific instructions, and one of them was to not make any fuss over a formal service. Um, that was Jake. He and Angie are on the way. And Palmer's ex-wife and daughter? Um, Daisy and, and Nina. Nina. Right? Yeah. Well, you're gonna have a house full. Yeah. We're gonna need some food. Mm -hmm. I guess somebody better get on the horn and order up a boatload of chicken. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, what better way to send off Palmer and to celebrate with the bird to put him back on top? <laughs> oh, right, the, the chicken shack was yeah. it? Yeah. Clark can say shack. howdy. <laughs> well, you heard Crystal. We're gonna need some chicken. Would you please get on the story in regards to the poulet? <laughs> Mama, I'm gonna need your expertise in the kitchen. Jack, do you know how to fry chicken? No. You're about to learn from the best. <laughs> wow. Guess you better take off your jacket and roll up your sleeves. Cluck and say howdy. <laughs> was always so damn dominantly <laughs> a survivor. <laughs> How are you? Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm just so glad we decided to meet here. I'm not ready to go over to Tad's. I, I don't want to be with the crowd. On the flight over here, I kept on thinking about all the wonderful times we had. Did you and your, your father have that weekly chat? Did you have it this week? No, I, I talked to him last week, and he talked to me about uh, patented video conferencing for Cortland Electronics. 
And then, of course, asked about his grandsons and, and me and even Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> so then he, he seemed happy. Yes, except for chasing that con man all over Europe. I think PC loved more than going off on a wild goose chase around the world. Oh, I wish I'd talk to him more often. I always thought there would be more time somehow. When was the last time you saw him? Honey, there's something I need to tell you. I, it's something I have never told anyone else. I. It's about your father and me. What have you got to offer? Well, I've always uh, liked Pine Valley in September. And I have my pride, too. I'd have to have an invitation. <laughs> Same time next year. Why, PC? What a nice idea. I accept. Hey, wait. What? It's April. It's not September. I know. I'm here now because your father called me and asked me to come. So I did. I got on the plane, and I must have been on the plane when he died. Now you'll never know what he had to tell you. Oh, yes. I know. I have that chicken suit, by oh. I'm joking. Oh, Lord, all those feathers. And Palmer, so allergic. I mean, imagine, the king of chicken allergic to feathers. <laughs> Hello, babe. Thank you so much. Daisy, oh. just as beautiful as ever. Both of you. Hi, darling. Hey, Crystal. Here. Why don't you meet somebody? Daisy, this is Crystal. This is my favorite ex-wife. This is Daisy. Oh. And I'm one of Palmer's many ex-wives. And, and, and her daughter, Nina. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. I am so sorry for your loss. Oh, my goodness. After all of you, you are a shot for so much. <laughs> a number on us this time, didn't he? <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> well, come on in. We have fried chicken. Chicken? Chicken. <laughs> what else? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, apparently, uh, Palmer's polo accident wasn't as damaging as everybody thought it was. Bing! You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, uh, sorry. I, I'm sorry. Mm. I, I, I hope that didn't come off the wrong no, way. No, it is absolutely it. perfect. Yeah. The PC always loved a good laugh. <laughs> so. Embarrassing. Should I go? Hey. In the Valley Inn. This is in uh, Mr. Cortland's room. We're told to deliver it here. Oh, cool. Okay, uh, well, here you go. Thanks for coming over. Thank you. Mom? I think this is for you. Oh, my gosh. Haley sent this to Palmer. It's his outtakes from that documentary she did says she thought he might like to see them mm. well i knew i would <laughs> anyone else yes yes, yes. 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 this show on the road here. <laughs>